So a long, long time ago, I made a video on the Lightboxer VR release and how shitty it was. And I still stand by my comments on that version of it. A few weeks later, they released an updated version of the app with some tweaks and fixes that brought my one star rating to a three star. And I gave an updated video. You can check out both of those right here. But now they've added a ton of new features. And I don't know, guys, I think I kind of like Lightboxer now. Stick around and find out why. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, okay, so this app hasn't always been my favorite. I've been hard on them pretty routinely because I feel like they've got a lot of unfair advantages that many developers didn't have at the time, and I felt like they squandered it with a lazy release of a product that wasn't worthy of the VR space. I like the real Lightboxer. That's this guy right here. My wife and I still use it, but I've always been a thorn in the side of the VR app. Lightboxer is the worst. VR fitness game I have ever played. Lazily slopped together piece of garbage. You just basically 20 year old fitness models who drank way too much caffeine try to inspire you with quotes they saw on Etsy pillows. But today, they've released a full body mode that not only is fun, but utilizes the nature of virtual reality in a way that makes sense and gives you a kick-ass workout without you even realizing it. Don't forget, you can pay to be a member of the Lightboxer crew with their subscription, but they also have a freemium version that you can use to check out all of the stuff that I'm showing you today. This is a full body workout. And when I say full body, I mostly mean they've added stuff outside of boxing. You have battle ropes that are super springy and bouncy, a speed bag to rack up points and hand speed, squats, squat pulses, also known as the devil, reverse lunges, and double dutch ropes. All of these combined give you an amazing total body workout that will leave you dripping in sweat. The trainers are fun and not distracting, minus the old keep your weight in your heels phrase that's not only old but played out and technically incorrect. Ideally, you want to keep your weight over your midfoot while spreading your toes out as wide as possible due to the fact that keeping your weight in your heels can cause people with a low hip flexibility to transfer unnecessary weight to their lumbar spine. <sighs> weight is placed in the heels from the glutes. But that's a story for another day. I really love the updates they've introduced, and when I reached out to their CEO, Jeff, after I completely tarred and feathered his product in the first review, he told me his goal was to get me to like the app, and also to run laps around the other VR fitness apps currently available. And while I scoffed at the time, I'm actually uh, starting to believe that if the updates keep coming like this, it won't be long before you see Lightboxer be the go-to app for fitness, surpassing both Supernatural and FitXR, which for me are kind of running out of ideas anyway and kind of passe. This is what we call a Cinderella story here. So I got that going for me. Please note that I have not been paid in any way, shape, or form for this review. This is not a sponsored review, but merely an update to keep folks up to date on the app. You can check out these new updates today by downloading the freemium version of Lightboxer in the Quest Store. And also, they are debuting these features on The View as we speak. My name is Ari with FitPro VR, and don't forget to get your full body workout in today.